Hi, this is Zomtree Greg, and today it's the battle of the commodities. SLS 3D printing versus FDM 3D printing. Both these are made on industrial machines, so SLS, most of these are made on EOS machines. This is using the Stratasys Fortis line. So everything on the FDM side, we're talking about the Stratasys Fortis line. So SLS, fused nylon powder in a laser powder bed. You have a choice of nylon or nylon, but because of a single material and the need for no support structures, you're able to stack parts in the X, Y, and Z and get a much better economy of scale. FDM is much more boutique. I have orange ASA right now. If I want yellow ASA, I need to run a separate build for that. So to scale, you need lots of machines, which Zometry has, but understand that the needs are more utility for specific materials and specific applications versus general purpose. And that's gonna be the large differentiator we're talking about. So what can I do with these two materials? Well, SLS, again, you have a choice of nylon or nylon, but I can do some stuff, like have a glass fill variant. This off-white color material has about a 30% glass fill to it, making the material a little bit stiffer. We could also dye SLS. Most common is going to be dyed black. We also have the ability to dye vibrant colors like red, blues, or, or green, this example here. FDM, I have different colors by putting a different feedstock into the printer. So orange ASA, ASA actually has 10 different colors. ABS has about six different colors. We also have some slightly translucent variants, and I'm going orange on orange here, but this is good for, think like tail light orange. Uh, this is the ABSI material. We also have some purpose-built materials like a electrostatic dissipative material. This is our ABS ESD7. If you're looking for a material to hold something that is static sensitive, such as circuit boards, this is the material for you. Even duct work is works excellent for this. We even have some materials that can be sterilized. So this ABS M30i here. So M30i itself, that kind of off-white color, can be ETO sterilized. Beautiful thing about SLS nylon is it already has that property inherently. In fact, you could autoclave, you could gamma it, whatever you'd like, take care of it that way. Just understand that this material does have some absorbency to it, so it's usually good for one-off materials in a medical device field. FDM, you need to treat the surface if you're looking for multi-use because you do have micro crevices from that layer by layer extruded filament that's making the parts themselves. Cost-wise, FDM tends to be slightly more expensive than SLS overall. But like I said, you have that variety to choose from. SLS, we look at it as a general purpose commodity. I call it the 85% tool. A lot of times it takes you 85% to where you need. Similar along those lines, by the way, honorable mention is HP Multijet Fusion. You can take a look at one of our other videos to see the difference between SLS and HP Multijet. So what else would you like to learn about with our X tiles? We have lots of materials here at Zometry. We're happy to go one-on-one -on -one with these. This is Zometry Greg. Thank you so much.